Hello everyone, my name is Elliot and I'm a Salted Bond. Welcome back to Pocket Mirror and why isn't it loading? Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. I did not enjoy this wind. So in the last episode we met Harpe and I think Lizette? It didn't say her name, but I've been kind of, you know, looking at the stuff, but... Anyway, I'm very spooked. <sighs> Okay, I'm really scared, guys. There's an open journal on the desk. I've never intended to break his family apart. This incident is nothing more than an unfortunate twist of fate, or so I want to believe. However, I've become unable to tolerate such outbursts of utter madness. To see that his family has become nothing more than a vile being plaything is completely outrageous and unacceptable. I shall take responsibility for your actions in my final loving gesture so that you may rest in peace. To you, my dear, I owe all the affection I could ever give you were you to live any longer. The rest of, my, the rest of the page is stuck together. What's been going on? Oh, of course, I took that in a dirty way. The Nora by Gottfried August Berger. Die Frühengräber by Frederick Gottlieb Klopstock. Black Momo, Silver Moon, Far Side, Companion of the Night. You flee, hurry not, stay, friend of thoughts, see its days. The cloud only billowed towards it. May's awaken is only more beautiful still like the summer night. When the dew drops from May's locks, clear as light, and up the hill it comes reddish. And the more noble ones, as soul and moss already grows in your tombs. How oh, happy I was as I still saw with you the dawn red, dawn red and the light night shimmer. Hmm. Pumpkin charm. Just put on a thin tone of psychology about Alfred I'd ever heard. Um, Shni Wai Shen und Rosenrat by Dai Bruder Grimm. Rosenrat, oh Rosen. These are all written in Braille. They're all written in braille. It's a pile of letters on the floor. They all seem to be medical letters. After analyzing the patient's mental health these past few days, I can now securely say my diagnosis. <sighs> um, it has come to my attention that the patient, Elise Day Helly, has been having nightly visions and balance of bodily humors and melancholia. Such behavior is not harmful to other members of the subject's family, however, it's quickly wearing down the subject's health. Patients who spend their days at ease with modern consumption of thin white wine, practice of gentle exercise, gentle exercise, <laughs> gentle exercise, <laughs> god I can't talk, warm baths, plenty of sleep, moderate carnal copulation, copulation, next one to the soothing music, I shall play patient over the mouth and not a break by crushing up sisters. For shag zoo, I am historian for in person, for Adam Mueller. God, German. Oh, German. Let's see what's down here. Nothing. No phonograph. I some people to go some cobwebs. School manners or rules for children's behavior. Oedipus Rex by Sophocles. Gross! The only book I know so far. God, what was that? What is this? Is that her? Why am I in that photograph? Everything stopped. Uh. 
Why'd the music get all dark? It's too dark. Going back in here. the fuck out of this. <laughs> it's a really big Bible. Locked. God, why did it get so loud all of a sudden? someone there? Yes? Please, I need your help. I've been hearing strange voices outside. I have to go check on my father. I need to get to the key to this room for me. Alright, where is it? Solve this alone, you'll find it. Listen closely because I won't be repeating myself. Lurking in the shadows, lost in the May, golden rain slides and scathe, waiting the light of day. At dawn, have the beast awake, guided by the northern star, you must advance. Drawn by people chirping, hope always falls, and search of guidance turn to the heartful gallows. Announced by the bells near demise, shall you not pay... Pray for Eastern sunrise. The door opens as he draws near the sun's side's alley cloud with fear. Wait, I don't understand. You have to hurry. Now go. God. Um. No. What the fuck? Ooh, I don't like this at all. Where do I go? I'm so confused. Do I have to look this up? I don't want to. It's not very clear. Huh. 
heart though, after all this, you guys. So scared. <laughs> What the heck? Oh, I see, I see. I think. So confused. A up. Sorry, I'm looking it up because I'm really confused right now. Seven, eight, ah! one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Scary. One, two, three. so close. I was so freaking close. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing so I'm looking this up. I never know what I'm doing though so you guys are used to this aren't you? Um Okay, that was weird. Hold on, it's being goofy. Sorry guys, the game's being goofy. Six. 
the wrong button. Rip. This is so weird. How do people come up with these riddles? I don't understand. I have to run at one part now. I'm scared. Wait a minute. One, two. Oh, what the heck? Or I went too soon. Hey guys, I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing. Sorry, it's taking me too long. What the heck? How long did I wait for? Something under the rug. Is this it? See. I got your key. Great. Now open the door.
Am I done? Can I, can I survive? Come on. Saving. Freaks me out. Okay. Oh my god. record Let's see there was a picture there too uh. <laughs> what is this god I'm out of here Scared. This is like the scariest part of the whole game so far. I don't know, in my opinion, this person is really scary. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. I see his grandfather clock. Are you sure this will be all right? Of course, my love. You are safe here. There is no need for you to worry. What about your family? There's a different matter. It has nothing to do with us, my dear. What about your daughter? What about her? Won't you suffer from this? I will be sure to take care of her without issue soon. No hush, my dear. Let us not worry about the future. Such an unpleasant conversation. There are people in there. God. Oh god, how dare you disobey me? What have I told you about leaving the room that night? I'm sorry, father. <gasps> this is the last time you will ever disobey me. I can't even do not dare come out until I tell you to. Do you understand? Yes, father. <laughs> Poor girl. It's a broken wine bottle. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Noping to that. Who's this? Where have you been? Harpe, I, I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm sorry. I just, I heard a strange noise while you were gone. A strange noise? Yes. You didn't hear it? No, I haven't heard it. And more importantly, are you alright, miss? Did you get hurt somewhere? Oh, no, I mean, I almost, I died like ten times, but other than that, I'm fine. You know. I'm alright. <laughs> That's a relief. However, you shouldn't go around by yourself. Do you understand? I, no buts, miss. This magic is very dangerous and is very old. You can get hurt if you wander around carelessly. I'm sorry, Harpe. <sighs> it's alright, miss. I'm just glad you're safe and sound. I'm sorry, Harpe. I was just worried about you. Worried about me? Because that sound was so loud. And since you're... I'm... Oh, no, it's nothing. I just thought you could have gotten hurt. There's no need to worry about me, miss. But thank you. Now, uh, come on. Come on out. Let's, let's get inside at once. I'm sure you're feeling tired. Yes, <laughs> let's. Give me your hand, just so you don't get lost. All right. I don't like this. Not at all. Happy, I can't. Harpe. Yes? Why is it so dark in here? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. There are no lights in this corridor, and it's gotten pretty dark. I know the way. There's nothing to worry about. I see. All right. I like this. 
We're here, miss. Are you feeling all right, miss? My head hurts. You must be tired. <laughs> yes, the past. Don't worry, Harpe. Please tell me if it doesn't. I can make you some tea. Thank you, Harpe. Come, let's sit. Oh my God, I love her. It's best if we talk while sitting down. Where were you all this time, miss? Oh, I. I'm gonna tell the truth. I I went to the floor by where we were in. The noise seemed to come from above, so you shouldn't have gone there, miss. I. No, it's all right. I'm not upset. I was just worried about you. You don't need to make such an expression, miss. I'm sorry, Harpe. No, I'm sorry for taking so long to come back. Anyway, where are we? Oh, it's the simple reception room. Ah, I see. I'm so glad you're safe, my girl. Even so, you do look a bit... bewildered. I... I'd just like to ask you something, Harpe. Please, go ahead. Are you the only person in this house? What do you mean? Oh, I... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to scare you, but I've heard voice and voices downstairs. Voices? Yes. I'm sorry, miss, but there's anyone else other than the two of us in this mansion. Are... are you sure? Yes. It must have been your imagination, I'm sure. I see. You must be right. You must be very tired, my girl. Perhaps you should take a rest. I have a few guests in the... Oh, no. What's the matter? There has a button missing on your card again. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hadn't noticed it was missing. I'm so sorry, my girl. I mustn't have I mustn't have sued it properly. Sewed it properly. No, I'm sorry. I was the one who lost it. I'm going to get a new button upstairs. Would you like to come with me? Yes, why not? Let us go then. so pretty oh my god what is this song called what is this music some sort. Hey there, little girl. Would, like to, would you be interested in this quiz? Good. Everything right, I can make, give you a reward. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. I don't want to die right now. Cry on the box record. There's a picture here, too. Oh. Did he kill them? I should go with Harpe. The music was so pretty, whatever it was. I'm gonna find it afterwards. She said something about having guests, and it's all dark, and I don't like this at all. Oh, how beautiful. This game really is beautiful, honestly, I have to say. I have a feeling Harpe isn't telling us the truth. She is lying about something. Harpe? <laughs> oh god. I apologize, my girl. Did I have gotten a bit ahead of you? Oh no, that's <laughs> right. I was just wondering where you'd gone to. I see. It wasn't my intention to worry you. Harpe, where are we? Tell me, miss. What is it? Do you remember the dresser? The dresser? No. 
I see. Here, take a seat. Harpy? Yes? Is this just something I should recognize? No, not necessarily. I asked you out of curiosity, nothing else. But, but you asked me that then, miss? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it is fine if you don't want me to, but may I brush your hair? My hair? Yes, it's, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time now. It's okay. Yes, yes, of course you can. Thank you, my girl. I am deeply grateful. Well then, can you please pass me the hairbrush? Ah, yes. This comb is a fancy harpe. Is it really yours? <laughs> yes, it is. It was once given to me as a present from my family. I see. This may sound funny to you, but I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Perhaps memories may be coming back. Okay, yes, what is it, my girl? Can you please tell me a bit more about myself? I can tell you about what I know. Unfortunately, it isn't much, but I hope that it will satisfy you. Anything will do. I mean, sorry, please don't <laughs> apologize. I understand you need to know, my girl. But can you please hand me the comb first? Ah, I'm so sorry, Harpe. <laughs> don't worry, miss. Now please sit up straight and place your hands on your lap. Oh, yes. Just like that, we don't want your beautiful long hair to get tangled now, do we? Thank you, Happy, for combing my hair. There's no need to thank you, my girl. I was the one who asked you if I can in the first place anyway. You are a very sweet individual, miss. Although you may have a few difficulties regarding some circumstances. What do you mean? You need to have more faith in yourself. You have come this far thanks to your own efforts, so it's f so at the time to start believing in your capabilities. I guess you're right. You may not think of yourself as such, but you truly are a very di diligent person. No one but you knows what hurdles you have surpassed in your journey, as well as your goals, your fears, and even your own strength. Harpe, it's time to start playing yourself together, my girl. No more hesitating, no more doubts. You must carry out your duty, regardless of the means, regardless of the consequences. Harpe? Enough running away. It is easy to lose yourself in the path, and even I, <laughs> even I am nothing more than a cruel misunderstanding. Harpe, but you are different. You are more than your mistakes. You are more than your fears. <laughs> God, my daughter, you are more than your duties. It is time to let go, my girl. You must give in, and you must lose control and remember my fears. I'll be with you, and I will protect you. What the fuck is going on? Happy, what's going on? <laughs> what? You are safe with me. <laughs> what? I guess that's all the time we have for now. Thank you so much for watching.